Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Darko Gaming. Uh, in my live stream recently, I've been seeing a lot of new player guides to the game. So today I decided to make a beginner guide on what hero to actually pick from the hero's journey. There is actually four heroes in there that you could actually go and not be wrong about them. So it's really about which one of the four you want to pick. They can do about the same thing for a beginner, guys. So let's press on the hero journey button. The first one obviously is the most popular Sharon Rogers Sharon Rogers is actually the one of the well if you get her uniform She's going to be the best character you can pick from the hero's journey But that's the key point you need to get her uniform to be the best I'm not saying that without the uniform she cannot get everything you need to get done as a new player but uh, to make her the best she needs a uniform other than that without the uniform she's pretty much close to par with the other characters in uh, the list we're going to be providing today also for alliance if you when you start reaching alliance below extreme eventually guys it's not that long to reach uh sean rogers can only uh can only do one day of Alliance Battle Extreme while the other characters that we're going to show in this list can actually do two days uh, well mostly uh, per week so that is a big reason why I don't consider uh, Shannon Rogers to be at the top by herself anymore guys so Shannon Rogers amazing survivability guys amazing offensive uh, with her uniform, she even become much stronger, and she also very oh, helpful in uh, timeline battle as a new player, guys. And uh, alliance battle normal is a joke with her, at, uh, even if she's not even tier two. So uh, all around, guys, one of the best character in the game uh, for starter players. Obviously, for uh, you know experienced players. We don't really use her anymore, but for a starter player, she's going to be help you. She's going to be able to help you progress through the whole story mode, chapter one to chapter thirteen. Uh, Alliance battle, wall boss, wall boss ultimate. Name every uh, part of the game, guys. She can actually be useful. So uh, amazing characters, and like I said, um, our usefulness improved by a lot if you get our uniform. But I also want to go with characters that you do not need a uniform to make them good. So let's scroll here through the list. Uh, I'm looking at the list because I don't want to miss, miss the characters on our show. The second character on my list that's a very, very good character guy is Shuri. A lot of people think that Shuri is only good for our tier 2 uh, passive, which is actually not true at all. Shuri has amazing survivability, a really good damage output. Uh, she's going to be able to uh, progress through the same stuff than Sharon Rogers, chapter 1 to chapter 13 in story mission. She's going to be useful in more alliance battle, uh, more alliance battle extreme uh, days. She's going to be able to do two days every three, three weeks. Uh, well, three days every three weeks. She's going to be able to go into no restriction and get 100,000. Uh, well, at tier 2, obviously. And uh, speed hero, she's going to be able to do it too. Well, speed. Speed. Uh, only, I think it's uh, any speed villain and hero you can actually bring in that speed day so uh, it's happened every two weeks so she's going to be very very useful there so three days every two weeks Con uh, compared to two days every two weeks for Sharon Rogers so that's where she's going to be a little bit more useful Auto Sharon Rogers will do a little bit better in PvP while uh, Shuri will do will be weaker in PvP and again Shuri will be much stronger if you get her uniform so that's another character that to make optimal you need to get her uniform now if we move through the list we have two more characters guys one of the new character release actually is this guy aaron Ammer, guys aaron Ammers is going to be uh well Aaron Armors is amazing, guys. Amazing survivability, uh, good leadership too. Um, amazing damage output. We'll be able to go from chapter one to chapter thirteen in story mission too. Uh, 
which is actually pretty great. Uh, it's going to be very useful in the wall boss. Wall boss ultimate PvP with all the iframe survivability he has, plus very good damage output, guys. Uh, Alliance Palo, Alliance Palo Extreme is going to be able to do uh, no restriction and universal, uh, universal what is hero. Uh, so basically, he covered the same amount of Alliance Palo Extreme Day than uh, Shuri. But the advantage that he has over Shuri and Sharon Rogers that to be optimal, he does not actually need uh, a uniform because he has no uniform. So uh, he's, in the end, he's going to be less expensive to actually get up. And um, it's going to be as strong as the other two. Actually, uh, maybe not core as I, you know, maybe not at the damage output of Sharon Rogers uh, with her uniform, you know, fully maxed. But he's going to be able to hold his own. Just comparison, uh, when I tried him in Universal Alliance Palo Extreme, I was able to pull 250,000 uh, score uh, with. Um, Obelisk that did not have a damage process. So that just showed the power of this guy. This guy is really close in power to Sharon Rogers, in my opinion, uh, if you build him properly. A very good, like I said, in PvP, story mission. Uh, auto auto play is actually going to be amazing too because so many iframe healing uh, defensive ability plus is going to be amazing for wall boss. Wall boss is going to be, you know, a joke for him. Wall boss ultimate. Um, very easy to progress with him so he is a key player now in the game guys just for being able to do all that without in uniform now if we move to the last one the last one is actually unexpected a little bit you will see guys when I actually get to him the last one is actually Scourge a lot of people think that Scourge is actually not a good character as well they are all wrong guys Scourge is an amazing character. Scourge might be a little bit more uh, difficult to play though because uh, the skill rotation is going to be much harder to keep him alive. But if you play him properly, you will have the same survivability as the other three we just went through. Uh, again, it's pretty much similar to Iron Armor in everything he can do. He can be good in um, Story chapter 1 to chapter 13 uh, Alliance Battle Extreme is going to be able to cover 3 days, no restriction. Uh, plus, is going to be able to do combat villain. Then, after that, a wall boss is not a problem for him, it's actually very easy. And wall boss ultimate is um, it's simple enough for him. Auto the guy in those four guys that will be uh, the best for wall boss ultimate. You know, stage one wall bosses, if we talk about that, is going to be Heron Armor, guys, because his elemental damage make it uh, make him that he will be able to progress in every single wall boss ultimate. While uh, a guy with physical damage, like a Scourge here or Shuri, is going to have a harder time to beat um, a Cole Obsidian, while somebody with elemental damage like Sharon Rogers will have a hard time beating up a Proxima. So basically guys, Heron Armor in my opinion now is the number one character for uh, the hero's journey but any of those four characters are actually amazing guys to do it. And since Iron Armor was the latest release characters, guys, to start this account because because this is a new account that we're going to be progressing with with making beginner guy guys. Since Iron Armor is the new character that's actually uh, I do believe is the best. He is going to be the character that we're going to pick for heroes joining guys. So we're going to pick him at six stars. And the way you want to do it, guys. Uh, well, we're gonna pick one at uh, one star actually and the one you will actually do it because over the the way to do arrow journey guys You're actually going to be leveling up slowly When you actually start a new account guys, that's the point I want to get to you get a six star selector right off the bat so the way you want to do it to get this guy to um, Tier 2 as soon as possible and have the first um, Tier 2 selector that you're going to get be able to use it on another character guy I do recommend to take this character 
and use your six star selector on these characters right off the bat so you start with him at six stars and through the arrow journey you're going to basically max him out max out his gear and when you get your first tier two ticket from clearing the first floor in shallow land which you're going to be able to do with this guy too which a part that's pretty amazing because he's universal well you're going to be able to get him tier 2 right away then you'll get another 6 star selector plus a tier 2 selector that's going to be able to get in a second character to tier 2 right away so that's going to make your account stronger right away so you pick this guy then you use your 6 star selector on this guy guys and then you start your account for real so that is pretty much what we're planning to do here uh, i don't think they're going to let me uh, do it right now i think they're going to send me to mission toe um let me see oh no they will let me so we're going to go in the hand box here and we're going to pick our uh, six stars selector right away uh we got a one star too but uh, we're going to pick the six stars here and we're going to use it on this guy Aaron armor there we go boom boom chicka boom boom wow and he is on the way so six stars guys and that's what you want to do that how uh, you want to start your account and guys when we get um, you know more important stuff through like what well, we get uh, the premium hero selector we're going to make another video so in seven days expect another video for beginner guide guys we're going to be covering in the next few days of cards for beginner um alliance for beginner because alliance is actually something very important but today i wanted it to be about hero's journey and how to start with your first character guys so thank you for watching don't forget to hit the sub button the like button and share this video with your uh, newbie friends and your alliance members so we can help more people and we can help the channel grow on that guys um have a good day and see you guys uh, in the next video in a few days for a full beginner guide card guide guys thank you